Hi, Dr. Russ here with a little bit of a deeper dive into the pelvic bridge, a foundational core stabilization exercise. It's going to take us about 10 minutes. We're going to need a foam roller, a block or a ball, and a resistance band. Let's say hello to our glutes and hamstrings. So you're on your mat and we're going to warm up a little bit, do a little bit of windshield wipers, say eight of these side to side. And then some heel slides. Just getting a little movement through the knees, a little movement of the ball in the socket of the hip. At the end of your heel slide, you can lift your foot a little bit by pulling your toes up towards your hip. You get a nice stretch of the whole back line of your leg. There's good. If you want to increase that stretch, you arch your back a little bit, roll forward on your sit bones. Gets way deep into the back line of the leg. Totally optional. Regular old heel slide is fine. Let's get onto our backs. Both knees to chest, gently. No need to pull, no need to bounce. Letting the pressure of the knees coming toward the chest naturally push your breath out gently. Heels down. We're going to do eight pelvic tilts. So remember the pelvic tilt is just a gentle rock of the hips by pulling the pubic bone up toward your sternum and then release. It's a very gentle contraction of the whole corset of your lower deep abdominal muscles. With each pelvic tilt, you're imprinting the lumbar spine into your mat. So sometimes we call it an imprint. Let's go for two more. Nice relaxed pace. Now we're going to do it again, but before we do, let's make sure our feet are nice and planted. We're going to commit to the heels and the inner and outer balls of both feet. We're going to do that pelvic tilt imprint and then scoop up the sacrum and lift into a bridge. So it's the glutes and the hamstrings that are pushing the heels into the mat. It's the lower abdominal core that's holding the pelvis up. As you come down, see if you can lower down from the top and let your sacrum be the last thing that hits the mat. Come through your imprint back to neutral. Let's do three more. Lift and hold. Sensing the glutes, sensing the hamstrings, sensing a slight opening in the hip flexors, and then rolling down through neutral, back to the imprint, and a lift. Watch for any tendency of your knees to splay out or in. We really want to keep the knees right in line with the hips. Next up, we're going to come through the imprint into the bridge. Hold here. Press down through the left heel and lift the right foot. And set it down. As you lift that right foot, there may be a tendency for that right hip to lower. That's what we're working against. Our left glute and hamstring is holding us up, but the right lower core is keeping our hip elevated. Let's touch for three. Good. Arms on the mat to stabilize you. Totally acceptable. Come on down. Rolling down. Sacrum touches last through the imprint into neutral. Take a breath. For a little more of a challenge, you can float your arms up, then you don't have your hands on the mat to stabilize you. So now we're going to lift up through the right glute. Push down, lift that left leg, and touch. The right glute and hamstring are holding us up. The left lower abdominal obliques are keeping that left hip from falling. Let's go for three more. One. 
two, three, and bring it down. Give yourself a little windshield wiper, and let's remind ourselves, core stability is about coordination. Yes, we need strength, but we need coordination and engagement first. We need to be able to sense this part of our body. The next step is a little harder. We're gonna lift into the bridge on one leg. So let's commit down through the right, excuse me, through the left heel, follow the foot. Make sure you got a good grip on the mat. The right foot floats up. We're gonna come through our imprint, scoop that sacrum, and now all of the work of lifting and lowering us is in the right glute. All the work of stabilizing that right half of the pelvis is in the right oblique abdominals, a little bit in the hip flexor. There's three. Let's do three more. One. Again, every time rolling through the imprint, trying to lower down from the top of the lumbar spine, last one. And lower, good. Switch legs, commit through the right heel, the right ball of the foot, lift that left leg, scoop through your imprint, and lift. And I am so much stronger on my right side. You might be too. Again, watch for any tendency of that right knee to drift. We wanna keep it right in line over our second toe. Here's four. Let's do two more. Good. Last one. And my glutes and hammies are starting to get a little bit tired. And that's good, that's what we want. Let's give them a little bit of a break. For this next piece, we're gonna hold a ball or a block in between our knees, which is not meant to strengthen our adductors, just engage them enough so that we can sense them and feel where they are and feel what they're doing while we do this exercise. It's gonna feel easy to be on both feet again. So this is almost a little bit of a rest and we're just gonna do eight full pelvic bridges starting from neutral, imprint, Scoop, doesn't that feel so much easier now? Lower through the imprint, neutral. We don't wanna squeeze the ball. This is not really about strengthening our adductors, but we do wanna sense what are our adductors doing and how do they feel when they're doing it? And creating that connection between the brain and the muscle is so key to core stabilization. We're gonna go for four more. Every imprint, every rock is a nice little range of motion for every lumbar disc and every lumbar vertebra. So crucial to have easy range of motion through there. If you have some arthritis, if you have some stiffness through your lower back, this is one way for you to maximize what you've got. And bring it down. Good. This next piece is similar, but instead of engaging with our adductors, we're gonna engage with our abductors. So I've got my red TheraBand. It's doubled because I do want some resistance here. Wrap it above your knees. We don't want it below our knees. That's gonna to put too much shear through our cruciate ligaments. We need those. And you're gonna to have to put some effort into keeping the knees apart. Ideally, there's enough resistance on the resistance band that if you let go, it would bring your knees together. Commit through the heels. Again, both legs. Imprint, scoop. <sighs> Engaging through the gluteus medius, the gluteus minimus, a little bit of the piriformis, a little bit of the tensor fasciolata. And interestingly, your abductors also need to engage in order to control the abduction. Because with uncontrolled abduction, my knees would splay out, and we don't want that. Just two more here. Good. Now your low back should feel nice and warm your glutes and hamstrings really engaging. Well done. 
Here we go with the last one in the series. It's the hardest one, so we saved it for last. We're going to have our feet on the foam roller as we bridge. So the foam roller introduces quite a bit of instability into the system and the muscles that need to keep us stable, you guessed it, glutes and hamstrings. So we want to try to stay relaxed through the core, not grip with the abdominals because they cannot stabilize that foam roller, nor can your deep lower back. It's the hamstrings pushing, committing into the foam roller that keep you here. So this is hard. You do not need to go all the way up and you do not need to go at my pace, but let's try it. I've got the arches of my feet on the foam roller, almost like a bird on a perch. As I exhale, imprint, scoop, and lift. Come as high as you comfortably can. If your hamstrings cramp, just let go. Come on down. Two more. Scoop, lift. What happens if I let go with my hamstrings? The foam roller rolls out from under me. Last one. Relax through the lower back. The core only enough to hold your pelvis up. All the effort through the glutes and the hamstrings. Awesome job. Awesome job. Take a break. Windshield wiper if you want. Stretch your hamstrings out a little bit if you want. Oh, and the foam roller is right here. When we're done, you can foam roll your calves and hamstrings. Okay, now the granddaddy. The hardest one of all. Again, we're just going to try for three. If you can't do it, that's okay. The heels and the arch of the foot are off the foam roller. It's entirely through the balls of the feet. The inner ball and the outer ball, 50-50 on each foot. Scoop, imprint, and lift. Hello, hamstrings. Whew. Careful not to let your heels sag lower than your toes if you're able to do this. The calves are engaged to keep the heels up. Oh, man. All right, I got one more in me. Hmm. Scoop and lift and whew. You can see how doing this will strengthen your hips. Thanks for doing this along with me. It's fun. I feel good. I hope you do too. I'll see you next time.